in this lecture we will gonna see about the list and its type so i haven't created any ppt or something like this i just wrote this piece and i think i have written this nicely so i'm just going through this one and i will attach this as a one of the lecture in this course so that you can read this so let's start what are the list list are basically the dimensions in an app so as i told you we have time dimension we have versions dimension similarly we can have our own custom dimension called the list so let's say if you want your countries regions products employees so you need those rows or columns you need those dimensions for that we can create a list so list are basically the dimensions in an app line so you can see this all i have written here is list are like rows and columns of a spreadsheet so like in excel we have a rows or columns we can have a dimension here which are called list so this is what list are so now you can see here i have opened up pivot view to show like here i have positioned my list in row so you can see my list here and here are my line items we can switch this like i just want to show this like how it will look like in a different views so i switch the rows and columns here now policy is in the row columns and my line items in the rows which is exactly opposite of this so it's just drag and drop you can place this here this here and now we will have this kind of view we can have list in our page selectors what does that mean is look line items are here but my policy numbers are here now this is a drop down we can click here and select which policy we want to see so we have p1 p2 all this comes up in drop down so this is one of the another view so this is how a list looks like and how we can change the views so this is basically a list is this is mainly a dimension in an app line we can have multiple list like it might be possible now we want to see a product and a region together so here i have used the two list together the policy number list and the pay code one is in rows another in page selectors so now you have this this and this as a page selector this is the website learnify.com and here you will find the advanced and open courses for that you have to click on this courses here you can see we have three and open courses and open basic to advanced and open extensions and a package and we will for one on general plan for it so from here you can have your and open journey so this is a multiple list inside a module similarly we can like concatenate these two like we have these two at the rows now you can see it looks like this one like for p1 we have all the pay codes for p2 we have all the pay codes but here we have p1 and we can select this pay code this one and you can even see the data also like for p1 pay code one we have n1 for p1 pay code one we have n1 so like these are the different views which we can create like when we go live like when we create some structure or we will do some example then it will clear more but this is how like i have attached the screenshots so that you can see like yes we can move this kind of structure or we can have this kind of hierarchy or some views so this is what list is now moving on to the types of list so we have basically four or five types of list first one is the flat list flat list means simply you are just adding the members no hierarchy is present nothing you can see this simply this is a kind of a flat list you have the members here this is the another grid view when we create a list i will show you what is the tree and the grid view look no parent is present it's just we have inserted the elements and it's simply like this one the another type of list is simple list in which like in flat list we have all these members in this we will get members at top level means all the members have one parent so what that mean is look i have my finance department hr department one of them has one parent here so this is my simple list if we go one step beyond like if you want a composite like means three or four level structure then we have this kind of structure so these are basically the types of list you can see i have attached this screenshot here like we have a state zone and a country like here we have a state then we have the zone then we have the country so this is what a composite list looks like it's similar to simple list in simple list you have only one hierarchy like only all departments and finance department even you this one employee 2 and 3 so we have only one level of hierarchy but in composite we have two three levels of hierarchy present so this is what the difference in the like, composite list simple list and flat list like in flat list we do not have any type of hierarchy we don't have any parent in simple list we have one one parent like let's say we have finance department hr department and the parent is all department ignore this part employee 1 4 2 3 so these are child of this which comes under the composite list and this is what composite list looks like another is the numbered list 
numbered list is like a special kind of list. So like the normal list has some limitations. Like we can't have the two similar names in a list. So here I have mentioned the three limitations, like three areas or the three conditions when we have to use this number list. Let's say we want to have the two list members with same name. So in that case, we will use the number list. Or we have the name which is more than 60 characters long. Then in that case also, we will use the number list. And let's say we want to dynamically add or remove a list from them. From a list, we want to dynamically add or remove members from a list, then we can use the numbered list. When any of this thing is required, then we will use the numbered list. Another one is the list subset. Let's say, you yeah, have a list, you want to see only few members. You want to see employee 2 and employee 5 and employee uh, 4. You don't want to see employee 3 and 1. So we can create a subset of this. Let's say we, and I have checked only those ones which are required and I can use them. So you can look there. Here I can see only these three, not the entire list, because I am using the subset of that list. This is what list subset looks like. So it will help you to save some space. Like you don't want to unnecessarily increase the model size by using these ones which are not required. So here it is like we want to see only the active employees. Those employees which left the company are not like considered for any further calculations. So we just want more active employees. So we have created a subset for the list. Now. The last one is the combination list. So this is like, uh, you can say, when let's say we have a product, there's a hierarchy, let's say we have SKUs for that. In some product category, we have some SKUs and those product comes under some family of products. So this is one of the original hierarchy. But let's say we want to specify for a particular product to a particular account. Let's say I will sell this kind of product. Some other will sell this kind of product. So we are assigning some percent to a product. So this is different from the usual hierarchy. So in that kind of cases, we can create a combination type of hierarchy. So this is not the complex one, like it's very rarely used. So this is what it looks like. Look, this is the original hierarchy. These are my products. These are my parents. So the, these comes under the chocolates. Has similarly, here we have assigned the different parents, like these one comes under the sub account so these are my accounts name and here these are the product category names like these are the chocolates so it describes that this these are chocolates but here we described is as the accounts part like it comes under the accounts so this is what a combination hierarchy is if you didn't understand this part then it's okay because the first five ones are the most useful ones and these are the ones which are going to be used many a times so this is what lists are and i will attach this piece here and you can read this and I think it will help you a lot like when studying what are the list and its types. So in our next lecture we will gonna see how we can create a list in a model and how we can create a subset or how we can create a different types of list.